Hello friends, in this video, let's quickly talk about how to implement a security in Power BI report server. In the previous videos, so we talked about how to do the Power BI report server installation, how to do the configuration of Power BI report server and how to do the deployments. So once all, all is done, then we can talk about security. Okay, so as, as, as a part of this uh, security, so before uh, going in detail on the security, so I will show you the uh, report server first. So this is my uh, Power BI report server. So where I have um, uh, like a one folder here, you can see it and I have one report. So which was working as, as I shown in the earlier um, uh, videos. So you even you can see the data also once. So I, I don't want to go in detail. Let us say like how this is click this all working and make sure that the report is working. That's it. And I have one one folder which I created in the previous uh, examples. So this is an empty folder. Let's quickly upload the same report. I I am not concentrating more on what is the what kind of data is in the report or what is the report name. Here in this video, I'm I'm more concerned on the security. If you really see the background here, so here in this this is a report manager. So one report is outside of the particular uh, entire home page, and one report is there in the folder the name of the folder is emp report this is a folder you can see the uh, like um, icon here folder under that folder i have a report okay so this is the background now then how to implement a security okay so there are there are like a many ways on like a, there are different ways of talking about security in the power bi report server the same applicable for ssrs report um, server or report manager as well okay so the first level i'm going to talk about the application level or um, entire system level privilege so like let us say th this so this power bi report manager or power bi report server hosted on the my computer so i am the admin of the computer so that i can see whatever uh, i want in the report server so i can do whatever i want in the report server since i am the i am the admin of the particular box so by default so admin of the particular server are the super users of the report server or report manager even the same case in ssrs as well as power bi report server Okay, so uh, can I see that like a uh, like a where can I see this application um, administrators or something like that? So you can see here. So this is the Power BI report server. So if you observe the right uh, little top section, extreme right, not extreme right. Like let us say this is the right side uh, top section here. So you can see settings option. Let's click on settings. So once you click on settings, you can see my subscriptions and site settings. So we'll talk about subscriptions little late, but let's come to the site settings. So once you click on site settings, you can see here. So the properties you can change whatever name you want, company name you can put it or or if you want to give any separate URL you can do that. That's fine. Let's come to the security here. So here by default as I mentioned, so all the built-in administrator of the particular server will be the admin of the report server. Since I am the administrator of the particular server or particular laptop, so I can see uh, all the options here. I have a delete option and all. If I select here, I can do the delete as well. But I cannot delete myself on the whole. But yeah, I can do the because I have the admin. Okay, so let us say there are two type of users are there first uh, on the application level. If you see here, so the one is first one is at the um, uh, admins. Okay, so let me maximize this. First are admins, then the second one is the users. Okay, so as I mentioned, I am the admin here. Okay, I am the admin here. So then can I add a normal users here? Of course, you can do that. Okay, so you can do the administrators or directly you can add the users here. And by default, as like a, this Power BI report server or SSRS um, a report server provides role level security. Okay, so the people who belongs to the particular role all will be having the similar access by default. It gives you the so role based security. Okay, the people who belongs to the particular role so will come under um, part of the uh, same uh, privileges. Let us say so. Let us say role one. I am making as a so role one. So assume so role one are the admins. Okay, the people who belongs to the particular role one, let us say so like a uh, person one, person two, person three are part of um, of role one. But role one is tied as a admins, then all these people person one, person two, person three all will get a admin privileges. So by default, it will give you the role based security. So now you want to implement as a user level based security as well, you can do that even even user based user level security as well, you can do that. So it's up to you. But for the better maintenance, for the better maintenance, so better to go with the role based security. So let us say you have 100 users, let's split those users into the multiple roles. 
the people who want to have a similar access let's create as a role and the people who, who want access uh, want different access create a different roles for them so you, you have only like a two three users for the application then you can go for a user level security so how to add either roles or users to the application okay so we'll talk about it now so now let's quickly go to the particular uh, one okay so you will be having this one so as i mentioned let's click on the settings and click on site settings so let's come to the security here you need to click on to add any users or roles so once you click here you need to provide here so group name okay so you, our role name whatever it is just to understand role name i'm just making a same name role name so since my mine is a personal laptop i don't be having any roles or something like that so even i don't have a multiple users i'm going to make it as guest that's it so obviously so you'll get one guest user on any of the personal devices okay so let's um, uh, uh, type it and you want to make guest as an administrator or user you need to specify i want to do a user let's click on okay okay you can see this so by default you'll you'll come up with a domain domain is my my server name or my computer name and a username is guest now if the guest logins let us say guest might be having again user id password okay if he logins he'll get a user privileges means he may not be able to do the delete option here so even though he select this option he may not be able to do the delete or he won't get the security option at all i'll show you that option as well at the end okay so this is application level so now i added him as a application level so now the guest user logins let us say guest is nothing but again a user so if this user logins into my report server so you can see all the you uh, can see all the reports but he cannot do anything you have a delete option here i have a delete option but the guest cannot be having anything okay even every every thing has a delete option here for me but if he logins as a guest he cannot do the delete he can view it that's it or you can read you can read here is even so what kind of options he can do it okay yeah you can read it as a user so view system properties shared uh, schedules and allow use of report builder or other clients that execute the report definition that's it you cannot do any uh, delete or you cannot do any modification on the existing uh, running reports okay so now this is at the application level when i say application level and the whole overall application level so in the same way so you you can apply the security at the this is a system level i i'll, I'll say it as a first one is a system level okay second one at the um, folder level third one at the item level it is up to me it it's um, it's my terminology so i talked about system level system level is nothing but entire uh, report server level report manager level now when i say folder level so i want to restrict that particular uh, like that the user is already added as a guest is at the application level but i don't want to show him to the all folders even though he log in into this application so i want to restrict here so what i'll do is i'll start doing this okay let's go to the folder level now i'm talking folder level let's click on manage so in the security so by default it inherits the application level security but i want to restrict that what i'll do is let's click on customize security it will ask you the um, confirmation so do you want to provide a separate security for this folder apart from the parent item parent item is at the application level or system level yes i want to do it once you click on it you will get a uh, options this one or again you can do that you same as security as parent level you can revert at any point of time let's click on add grouper level now let's add a guest here so now here guest is having like a, you can add the guest privileges here so folders and all so you want to only browse and uh, uh, my report section you can do it let's click on okay now let us say somebody has logged in apart from the administrator and guest so he don't be able to see the employee reports folder emp reports folder by, because this is having customized uh, security the people who has the people who belongs to this particular uh, security so these two people only can access it if somebody logged in as a user one here okay let me remove this guy now okay so now i made it as a uh, personal security for this folder if the guest logins he cannot see this particular folder at all he can see only this report so can i control this report as well of course of course this is nothing but a item level this is nothing but a item level so let's click on this one click on manage the same we come to the security so do you want to use again application level security or personal security so as i am talking about examples here i'll use a personal security here let's click on customize security again it lost for the confirmation so do you want to go with a customized security or you want to go with application level high level security i want to go with the personal security since i'm talking about let's click on add our group user let's guest okay already have so let's add it and publish report whatever you want click on add okay so now let's remove it so now if the guest logins here 
let's remove it now guest doesn't have a prop uh, now now if you understand here so guest doesn't have a uh, privilege on this folder guest doesn't have a privilege on this particular reports now if the guest logins here you won't be able to see anything he'll see only empty screen he'll see only empty screen if you remember like earlier we got only empty screen in the first configuration time so you'll get only the empty screen no items display something like that because i customized this security this security but still he has access to see the app he'll simply see empty screen if he, even he, if he doesn't have here he cannot log in saying that access denied now if the guest logins he says he, he gets a message saying that access denied so this is how we implement a security this is how we impose a security in ssrs or power bi report similar both are the same so i'm repeating we can implement a security at system level we can implement a security at folder level we can implement security at the item level it depends on your uh, comfort level but i prefer at the system level as well as role based security i'll prefer it so it's up to you it's up uh, it's up to your application it's up to your users it's up to your maintenance so you you need to keep a, um, a mind like you need to keep a point in mind maintenance as well if you are keeping like 100 users are there if you maintain user level security so daily you will be getting a request saying that let's remove this user add this user so better to go with a role based security and system level and at least folder level okay so if item level means if you don't have option then obviously you have to go for item level so that's all about it on the security and power bi report server if you have any questions please don't hesitate to ask please drop your question in the comment section i'll try to answer as soon as possible also follow me on facebook for more technical updates thank you thank you for watching